So I'm going to start off by pouring a little bit of glitter. This is a holographic glitter from TKB Trading. And this is a rose gold glitter from TKB Trading. And I'm using a container also from TKB Trading. I'll have all the products listed below so you can buy them. And this is a gloss. It's called Versagel. And I'm going to pour a little bit of that into this container. And then I'm going to mix it all together. And can we just like take a moment to like appreciate how beautiful this is like really like I could stare at this all day seriously when mixing these lip glosses you can be as creative as you want you can mix any color glitters as you can see later in the video I'm going to mix some different color pigments in there but um, this is coming off purple on camera but this glitter is actually the holographic and the rose gold and it looks so pretty by itself but even prettier over a light colored lip gloss I think it like changes the whole look of it so now to get the lip gloss into a tube what you're gonna need is a plastic bag and you're just gonna cut off the corner of the plastic bag like this but my scissors suck and then you're gonna need one of these little piping tools you can get it in any bacon section of any store that sells baking stuff and you're gonna put that in the corner where you cut it off and then you're just gonna put tape around it just to keep the lip gloss from coming out of the sides and getting all messy but it is gonna get kind of messy anyways then you're gonna need a lip gloss tube and this is just one that I got from TKB trading and you're just gonna pipe the lip gloss into the tube like this and this one has a cute little brush on it so it makes you feel all fancy and this is how it looks when it is swatched you can build it up as much as you want or leave it as little as you want and here's how the lip gloss looks by itself with nothing underneath I love it like that but I really love it with a lipstick underneath it so I'm using a new lipstick and also don't mind those crusty lashes but that highlight though I will be making a DIY highlight in my next video it's so easy to do and it's really pigmented so now I'm taking this pink pigment it's like an iridescent pigment and you can find this at TKB trading and also the Versa gel I'm gonna use some of that again and you can really use this with pigments glitters anything to make your own lip gloss I'm gonna pour some of that in this container and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of the pigment into it but you don't really have to measure like you don't have to be too precise with anything you can just kind of eyeball it because it's pretty easy it's just basically mixing things together and it makes the prettiest Barbie cotton candy pink that I've ever seen all of these pigments I got them in sample sizes but they come with a lot of product and I think they're under two dollars if I'm not mistaken they come with um, a teal a red a green and a pink and they're all iridescent and iridescent are like those pretty unicorn colors I don't know how to explain them they like reflect certain way it's different color in the light or something I don't know how to explain it but they're really pretty and um, this is it looks like it's gonna be like a really opaque pink but it's actually a light dust of pink so when you put it over anything it just gives it that gloss of pink it's not gonna like really overpower any lipstick and I really think that these glow in the dark like I was putting my brightness all the way down and you can still see the pink here I'm taking some more of that pink pigment I mean that pink gloss that I made and I'm gonna mix it with some glitter just like this
so the last lip gloss experiment I did was I took some of that pink lip gloss that I had and I wanted to add another iridescent color to it so I got this teal pigment this is called reflex teal from TKB trading and I'm just adding some of that into the pink lip gloss and this color like screams unicorn to me everything about it is just so pretty so me so extra and this was my favorite by far it really like it seriously glows in the dark like you'll see in the end it glows in the dark also I put it over a dark lipstick and it reminded me of the 90s how they wore like that iridescent holographic lip and I just really loved it so that's pretty much it this was really fun to try out and I hope you guys try it out also I have all the information down below my next video will be a DIY highlight so subscribe so you won't miss that one